I also like Mega Man, as you guys may know. Um, I put both of them together one day and I made an album called Mega Ran because I thought that was a cool combination of Mega Man and Random. Boom! So I made the album, I put it on the internet, and some people seemed to like it. It turned out okay. Um, people were digging it, putting it on their little websites and blogs and things. And I was like, whoa, I think I'm going like what's called viral. And uh, <laughs> next thing you know, I get an email and it's from Capcom. Now, this email from Capcom, as you know, Capcom is the company that owns Mega Man. And, um, and so, this phone call went a little weird. They were like, so, we want to talk to Mega Man. And I was like, uh, who's calling? And they were like, Capcom. And I'm like, ooh, snap. And I'm like, preparing myself for the worst. And they're like, so guy, we want to talk to you about this Mega Man album that you're putting out and um, using our copyrighted material as, it's, as the source material. Did you know you couldn't do that? And I was like, no, I didn't. I really did know. <laughs> I knew that you couldn't do that. But, uh, but you know, deniability, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, yo, I, I didn't know, I'm sorry. They're like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of illegal. And I'm like, whew, boy, wow, that's a shame. And uh, they were like, well, we want to talk to you about the artwork, first of all. I don't know if you've ever seen the cover, but the cover has Mega Man on it. But um, not this Mega Man. This is what Mega Man really looks like. Um, it didn't quite look like that. His skin was a little darker, a little browner. Um, uh, and they were like, what's up with that? And I was like, well, you know, brown kids need heroes too. You know, I just wanted a kid, a guy that, you know, looked a little more like, you know, me. And they were like, oh, that's cute. They weren't really into it. But this was around 2008, so it was like the time when Obama, when everybody liked him. So it was like... <laughs> so, so people were like, they were like, you know, go Obama and all. However, black Mega Man... Well, you don't think so. So, um, <laughs> so that was my first strike. Second, they were like, let's talk about this actual music. And I'm like, oh boy. And they were like, look, we let everybody at Capcom, USA, and Japan hear your album. And you want to know what they said? And I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, and then he, he decided to tell me anyway. And he said, they all loved it. And I was like, yo, that's crazy, son. So I was excited. Um, so much so that uh, I was I was like in a joy just pumping fists and walking through and they were like so how would you like to be officially licensed by Capcom and I was like what that's a thing and they were like yeah yeah we can officially license you and give you permission to sample our stuff and I was like heck yeah so I took that I'm very happy to tell you that as of that day Mega Ran is officially licensed by Capcom <laughs> so, but it gets crazier though because um, as I was leaving, I was shaking hands of all the developers. And I was like, thank you guys so much for giving me a chance. Oh my gosh, I'm just some kid from Philadelphia. The dream. Oh, wait, where did you say you were from? I'm from Philadelphia. Philadelphia, eh? And they gave me this weird look. And I was like, what? And then I knew where he was going. He was making the same joke that people have been making since the 1990s about Philadelphia. And it goes like this. Now this is the story all about how I've got Take a minute, just sit right there. I tell you how we gave the prince of a town called Bel Air. Say, hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola, hola. Say, hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola, hola. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. On the playground, it's where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and all shooting some beef on outside of the school with a couple of guys. They were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got a one little fight, and my mom got scared and said, Moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I whistle for a camera when it came to yeah. the place, place that fresh and that nice to me. If anything, I can say that this camera was rare, but I thought, now forget it. You're holding Bel Air. <laughs> Thank you. I pulled up to a house about seven or eight, and I yelled to the cabbie, You're holding Look at my kingdom, I was finally there. I sit on my throne as the prince of Bel Air. Say, hola, hola. Say hola, hola, hola. Thank you for going there with me. So I was telling that whole story to get to, yes, I am the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. No. <laughs> <laughs>